Thanks, Dad. I've been a teacher for a year. So I'm going to try to do my best. I got a good agenda. I'm going to talk about um, propagating California's native plants for uh, California gardens. So I, I, my question. Great. 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 It says, I worked for a long time for uh, San Pedro Street. I resigned three years ago for San Pedro Street. We joined to Los Angeles, which could be the planet wireless. We start a new, a new um, hostel. Actually. So we started this year, we started producing. We are selling to the markets, to the retailers, wholesale. We basically, we, we, we are wholesale. So on a landscape, uh, not to the public, we're not, we're not selling to the public. So we focus in, in uh, Australian, uh, South Africa, and California natives. So that's a goal. Okay. So, um, for the moment, so I want to start with the agenda. So, thank you, Chef. I can see. So, the Venus elephant are, are very easy to eliminate when we uh, uh, when we uh, collecting the best seeds. So, like the best seeds. And uh, treatment right, so that's one of the most. Uh, it's difficult to grow, but it's easy to germinate. Mm -hmm. So that's temperature, okay, no. So the dramas are multifolia. So we can do, we can prepare just from seed or cuttings. So um. That's something, you know, either one can do. Since seeds are very easy, cutting is not too easy. So that's why mostly a lot of nurseries decide to do more seeds. Doesn't make any change. So seed, uh, seed and seeding. So this cactus colony. Asculus californica and uh, Eteromalus cayamus. So, the penis on the front seeds. So, the process, the process. Um, is collecting, collecting seeds and cleaning, um, the story, and seed treatment for some seeds. So there you go. There you go. Um, for uh, story, story, we use uh, paper. Pain and light temperature. Otherwise, you never know what's in the bag. <laughs> so that's uh that's uh the process. So the first picture on top, the join when we need to refrigerate the the, the seeds. They need uh cold. Process and then uh, the bottom picture is the the smoke. Hmm. So that's the media for uh, basically that's the media for uh, seed in Germany. It's uh, for like PMOS, and some people use vernaculate, but we don't use it in my own. I don't use much. Right. So um so that's that's the process to um put the seeds to germinating. So this process is for uh, uh 
garden people, they're going to do a home so they can plant the, uh, uh, the seeds and pots. Person, uh, uh, commercial, we use the, you know, plots to put a, depend on the amount of seeds you need for crop, like 600, 1,000, 2,000. So, but that's small, small bot. So that's, that's the calculus color here. So, the seeds, seeds. Okay. So those seeds is very easy to germinate. Basically, they germinate everywhere. As soon as they fall down from the tree, they can germinate on the ground. But for uh, commercial producers, we need to select the best seeds. So the bigger seeds, the more robust. So we planting and, and then to germinate and after they germinate, we select the best plants, also the best color, the, the best foliage. And uh, and that's where we, we first plant into the leafy parts or rose parts. People call those parts. Mm. So that's that's uh, another picture for the flower venus, and the bottom picture is for um ramus, ramus seeds, California poppy, right? Meta, meta you have, yeah. So so that's the process to first planting seeds. <coughs> Okay, um, so that's the media. Basically, we use the media uh, for uh, potting. It's 10% it's, uh, for life, so it changes the, the media. In 60%, 80% of PMOS. So, and that's the ramen seeds, rose butter. Ascolos Californica, that's another plant very easy to germinate. So those, those seeds are, uh, we basically plant it directly in the one gallon pot. So save a lot of work to push planting. You can, you can see the very big seeds. As a Sarah Cardano. So Basically, a salon is, is something um, very difficult to generate. So, so in our um, facilities, but in the natural, they grow, they generate very easy. As soon as the rats they don't find the seeds, they, they come out very, very easy. So. What you're saying, they're hard to, they're hard to cultivate in, in the nursery, PSR? Yes, they need they need treatment. They need trim, they need, they need gas to help to dissolve the skin and also a small. So it takes a long time to, to germinate. So if they need cold, if you can do it in summer, but you need to put it in the refrigerator for at least one or two months. So as baby as speciosa, there's something very easy to germinate, but it's hard uh, to go management during when they start germinating because they're very sensitive for uh, dumping out. Hmm. So. Sergius uh, occidentalis. So that's another nice plant and uh, very easy to germinate. If you we um, doing the process, we need to soak in the seeds, 
Uh, use a small also. And then the German, it doesn't take too long to germinate, but they need to do the trick then. Uh, Yes. 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 That uh, smoke. <laughs> so a few words we we cheating to the seeds. We pretend to like burn the surface of the seeds to wake up the seeds. So in the natural when they when they the fires areas. It's beneficial for that top plant. A lot of plants, and that's one of them. So they stimulate to germinate. We do use the smoke. So smoke is there's a company they can they can uh, they sell them small discs and the salt and water. And that um, some people do by the barbecue. So the barbecue can put like a like tube and collect in the paper. So and put it on a pot or on a bottle. We can use that for treatment seeds. Especially the difficult seeds like Ramias and Sarah, they're very hard to germinate. That's a reactor and runner resin. So that's something very easy to generate. Uh, there's a hooker magnetics from seeds. There are other overgrounds. Pencil muscle fibers. So that's those are very easy to generate. There is a carcass of Grifolia. This Ramia Copria. Salvia Spadafi. That's another one we need to do treatment with a small gas. So basically, use some. One day, another day, uh, gas, and one more day, small. Mm. So that's that's basically the process to make to make it success and help it for that. But also we can we can make cuttings from that one. So it's two ways, three ways to do. It. So seeds, cuttings, and and uh, it was <laughs> for us, seed. Yes, if you we follow the, the treatments for some people, currents, yeah, depend on the climate, the weather, they're very sensitive. To the hot weather, you can make uh, we can make cuttings, but if you one day it's hot, right in the bottom of the area, and that's it, they collapse. So we need to provide the uh, appropriate plant. So cuttings. So next step is cuttings. There's um, Monadella and Philadelphia. So there's there are some samples cuttings from uh, modern Della, Salvia, Pecora, Manzanita, and Sinotus, and um, Lanotinos, Casitas. So there's different different techniques. Propagate those things. For example, uh, us, we can do by cutting, but also we can do by the distance.
there's there's another example for sure. Um, the picture on the right is a Rania, the roots, and the on the left, sorry, and the right, it's a uh, scales from um, lilies. What plant is that on the right? Lilians, the lilians. Yeah. yeah. So that's incredible. It's like balls, but yeah, they make they, they make the little things on top of the roots and top of the soil and take them apart and plant it. That's the ones. So to make the cuttings for that for the lilian is better than one to and they don't. So basically that's the time when we propagate that one and they do really good results. So there is a tool, <laughs> tool for uh, propagating. So we we need to use this clippers label and and so and this is um I use alcohol to disinfect my tools. Some people use products, but I don't, in my, my, my opinion, I do not use products. But, um, or, um, so, you know, it depends. <laughs> I use alcohol, alcohol, yeah. 70%. And this one, another example of cutting. So, for Masonitas, it's two ways. Uh, I use different techniques. So, people, some people use uh, bottom heat. I, I use bottom heat and today we do. So, I, I, really this, I start reading this outside. Check it out. Not in the greenhouse, they don't like it. So we start outside until they start pulling the colors, the, the buttons, and then move it in. When, as soon as they start moving, start coming out, move it to the bottom too. And they push up fast. So again, this is this is the, the tools for propagation of medium. Uh, papers, uh, small and deeper drop for hermits. That's the that's the process for planting. So that's you know this. I'm pretty sure it's you know this point. So what's the minimum amount of nodes you need to put in? I mean that you need to put under the soil. So dependent on, on the person or dependent on the uh, in my recommendation is only one inch deep on the ground. Sometimes too deep they they die. Yeah. So one inch down you can see where the more or less where the roots start coming up. It's about half an inch up. So, and again, some some plants needs uh, protection. Uh, in summer, I start seeing other studies outside and shade, not in the greenhouse. And in fall, I start putting it inside because they not it's not a high risk to have. Hot weather, one day pretty warm, the next day it's cold. So uh, that's my experience. So in summer, if you start inside, you couldn't miss under mist, but it's the big, big chance to me is a bit rich because too much water you can burn, you can kill a plant. So the better success for me is 
that are outside in the summer, in full place, extra shade, watering once a week. It's not too much water also. That helps. In the beginning, first week when you just plant in, you can just sprinkle a little bit, maybe two times a day if you want more, but it's a little bit not, not too deep. So that's that's the process of care. So watering, you know, seeds, um, it's very important seeds keep it moist after we plant it. After we put them in germination, because some seeds they are dry in the surface. If they dry out when they start broken up, they can kill us. So that's not an index. So that's those kinds are outside in chain. It's not an that are Dr. Hurd. Austin Griffith or um, Santa Elena. So let's see now this. That's the epilobium. So uh, epilobiums is very easy when they, they start coming up. At this point, the epilobium is not, not a very good idea to do things. It's, it's too mature. So when they you can turn and fresh, make the new grow, that, that's the best way. They're really in one or two weeks. And again, it has to go in a cool place. Dry, but not hot, not so hot. For better results, I use for uh, epilobians, I I put um, newspaper on top the first week or two, and I wet it. And that's enough to keep uh, protecting for the half days or one. Vermont, California. So, an iris. That's Ramos, California, or Rango, right? That's uh, Ribes and Guineans, or Ribes Special. So, Ribes Special um, is, is two ways to do it. It's when they, in spring, when they grow it, or in, in winter, when they grow it. And Tangerian uh, is very easy to do. You can do basically all the time. Salvia potassium. Okay, that's all for the cutting. So we're going to talk a little bit about the fish. So there is a uh, I think, I think it's Pippera Cayenne Melody, the Stukai Dahomenses, and Antinaria. So, this is the uh, divisions from divisions from the garden or from the pot. So, there is the tools for uh, division from the garden. And again, I use I disinfect the tools with alcohol, but like chavos and stuff like that, I use I think about and so in the bucket. So there's some there's some divisions like um again Antinaria, Christopus, Native uh Christopus, that's I don't want to say. Um in the process to, to plant it. So that's the uh, Pukura and and Oshara. Um, I think it's a Tana Cardinal. 
which is in the floods. This but uh, Arius. So the Arius is by dividing, I can do like guidance in divisions. So the very sensitive for disease, plus the 20 or other disease. So we uh, the process I do for right uh, for iris is I dig them up and water with salt and and then pull them out, wash it really good, and then uh, cut all the 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 roots and just plant them. So there are very a lot of people who kill those plants because they plant them too deep. So basically, they tell you how deep you need to plant it. The color, you see the color red. If you if you cover that color, so for sure you're gonna lose that. And that's plant. So it has to be up. It's possible. So that's the the last ones. That's the bulbs. So, yeah, to tell Laksa and the small Perma. Which one is that? Yeah, I see. So that's the first the picture on the left is, is the Dahlia and that's the Perma on the right. So next picture you see the divisions. Takes time to, to get the big, but you can make really good divisions. So there's the Lydians. If you see the the lilies and the winter, they start growing. They can make good, good growth stuff, but they have a you see the little I call teeth. So that's the one we planted in cutting plants, not the plants. Is depth also sensitive to that? Are they sensitive to depth? Uh, no, not really, not much because. Um, you know, also we, we need to take a precaution with the soil, all the penalties. I use more per light than the females. Yeah. Is there any other question about this? That's it. That's it. Thank you. Questions? No questions? Yes. No. Um, could you explain a little more about the gas that we use? Sure. That's something that I don't have um, uh, the information in my hands, but I, I can. Uh, I can release to everything you can spend, you know, it's more than I. Uh, we were using white gas, camping gas. Um, and the problem is that they started putting an anti flaring additive in it. And the anti flaring additive is really toxic to the seeds. Mm. So it's basically using up whatever you've got years ago right now. And once that's done, Another question? Come on. Uh, can you show the slide with uh, the root tone uh, rooting hormone in the picture? Uh, do you use different strengths of root tone and what are they? Yeah. Um... I use only uh, Hormex, 
So we keep we the other difference we use is four or less like like three, number three, eight, and sixteen. So but number eight basically is the most um, popular I use more. Number three is good for very sensitive ones. Then you, you have a chance to form different strong products. But uh, I recommend number eight. Basically, for the whole plants that attack, the one that like, has hard pumps, they, they use anything or they don't want to, like magnolias or dahlias, I mean, camellias, spawn. All right. I'm going to the number 30, but um, you have to go over the factory. You know, okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for your question. Can you tell us a little bit more about the? Uh, I was really interested by the the, the length of the cutting that is important for many of them to be smaller. So they they're more successful to use. I that. Sure. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Um, in my experience, uh, the shortest cutting is making the best plan in the future. If you, the bigger cuttings, you're going to make in a very good uh, plan uh, in the future because they, they, they grow more bigger, bigger. If you want to keep it compact, the more compact plants um, or the personal or, or uh, quality, I say quality, the best for the short variants. Yes. So, thank you. Um, I guess um, I've been propagating them for the first time, salvias, and um, they said you should take three nodes and put them under the under the soil, um, potting soil, but it doesn't seem, I mean, how would you propagate salvia apiana or salvia luciana, those kind of things? Okay, thanks for your question. So you you need to practice, in my experience, I practice different techniques for different plants, or well, sometimes for the same plant, do you use different techniques? The hand of the time, the weather, you know, flower reason. So, Alpiana and what else? What's the name? Uh, oh, okay. So, you can plant to be those plants for sure. You can what? You can't plant to be. It has to be at least half inch oh. on the soil. Because there are those plants are very sensitive for heat. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, you know, you need to see a lot of detail around the quality of the cuttings. For example, if you're there, John, the two John and strong. So you have to see the day is if it's warm, if it's hot, you know, if the place is dry. So you have to be careful. Basically, in California native plant, uh, you need to play all the time. Basically, you have to go. Yes, because especially when when the weather changes a lot. Uh, you mentioned that you're also growing the South African and um, Australian plants. Can you talk a little bit about the difference in propagating those versus California plants? Sure. Thank you for the question. Of course. Um, yeah. Um, Australian and uh, South Africa. It's very similar, like California and native plants to, to trade, to propagate. So, for example, Grevilleas, Lactodendrons. So, 
they need to then you need to do the and the right place not to do, do it because there's a lot of problems are talking about uh rather than uh falling or in the roots so kind of, um I'm going to say rebellious. So in rebellious, the best time to do is in fall this time. And lepidendron, lepidosperms, as it's early, early in um, late in, in summer, early in fall, it's a good time to do that response. But at the same time, you need to monitor in for uh, hot weather. The first two weeks, three weeks, you need to be careful with those plants. So if you if the temperature is gonna be like it's talking about what to change a lot because the fall is coming in the afternoon. But some day they, they go over the 80s and do I make my clients from uh left screen. So I put paper uh newspaper on top the weather for to, to protect the day, keep moist. After that, you take the Newspaper and you give it the more light you can. So it's very similar, but I say in my spray, those plants have to be more dry. They don't need too much water on it. Put that in the beginning and then give it more light you can. Yes. So Late, late summer and early fall for the least. Late summer, like a So basically, this is the good time to do it. Like the end of the Yes. Any other question? Mm -hmm. uh, timing on C and O is when you make the meeting. So I don't know what you told me. Uh, the winter, but it's exactly you have a lot of success doing that. Yes, uh, thanks for your question. Yes, uh, the only different you have better results in it because in, in, in summer it's hard. Because the plants are not ready, sometimes they stress it for dry out. So the best is I recommend in winter or start a fall, winter this is the process. That's the best result. Because a lot of plants are hundred percent. But you can do it in summer too, but you need to give it extra care, protecting double shade, uh, sprinkle a little bit during the day, just the surface. Yeah, you have to be careful. You do and how well it lights on or late, or late with Astro. Thank you. Vivian, you asked my question too. Uh, um, do you have experience uh, propagating the sticky monkey fly? Is that a it's a popular one, it has a target get because you can propagate or not. So, monkey flowers is very easy, but again, it has to be soft, very soft growth. If they are mature uh, stems, are you gonna lose or are you gonna waste it? So the reason is because uh, if you, you try to propagate in, in summer, they're very secure by, by one day. If you propagate in winter, they got a lot of tribes problems. But if you're doing very soft cuttings and when you start growing the new, the new tips, that's the best, and they grow in a week or two. Yeah, it's very easy. And you have to find out the best the best time to, to cut. What he's not telling you is he's working with a whole new line of monkey flower hybrids uh, for just spectacular. And kind of a bequeath from uh, Richard Versoff 
Um, and at our nursery, uh, Kathy Navarro is carrying on those hybrids that I did these selections. And selections, and now he's got them in production. Thank you, Mike. Yes, we we just follow um, some new selections from the future. And then, uh, what's your new again? Your wholesale nursery? Where you are? Yeah. Uh, okay, so our nursery is Los Arroyos Nursery International Wholesale. It's been well from the continue. So I uh, if you did this card, I can keep in the desk for for you if somebody are interested. But it's in Watsonville, Los Arroyos International Hotel Nursery. So Manuel Morales and uh, Luis Marquez and I we we working together to bring this nursery to help you. Thank you. Any other questions? So you've been doing this for a long time, right? So now I imagine your success rate is pretty high. But what about like in the beginning, like for those of us that really have never done this, like what, I mean, what do you recommend? 